Welcome to this playlist introducing the Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2017 web client. This first video will introduce you overall to the web client and its user interface. Now the purpose here is to guide new users through their first experiences with the web client for Dynamics Nav 2017. But if you're an existing Dynamics Nav user and are perhaps more used to working with Windows client, the aim is that you'll still find plenty of tips and tricks in this playlist to help you get the most out of the latest product enhancements. The web client now offers a great balance of simplicity and productivity for any Dynamics Nav user. And at the end of this playlist, I'll show you how you can actually get a free training document that you can download from our website that accompanies this playlist. The main ideas now around the web client are that it has been greatly enhanced in both this new 2017 version and last year's 2016 version. It's got a good balance of simplicity and productivity that should suit most users and it gives you a fast and fluid interface that's been fully redesigned to be as efficient as possible. Things like the startup time have been improved compared to previous versions, and we now have quicker navigation between pages. Firstly, the user interface has been designed deliberately to have a strong resemblance to Office 365 to make the users more comfortable, including things like the fonts, the spacing, and particularly this blue app bar at the top of the, the page to help make things like help and some other links more accessible. In here we can access my settings and gather together information such as which role centre we're using, which company we're working in, the work date we're currently working with and so on. So we have all of our um, user settings in, in one easy to reach location. So if we now explore the user interface a little, firstly we have something that Microsoft are calling dynamic resizing. So if I just resize this, uh, this window a little bit, we'll see it catches up and then it adapts the, the sizing of the elements on the screen, the parts in the role center, so that I don't have things cut off. It'll resize my columns and as much as it can accommodate everything possible within the new screen width. If I continue to shrink things down to represent a much smaller screen, so perhaps onto a mobile a device, a, a tablet or a mobile phone, we can see that it will gradually remove screen elements but try and preserve the priority and the order of things even down to now I've just got my role center cues visible but within those the priority will be preserved and it will show as many as possible. Throughout all of this you will note on the left hand side the home button and the navigation pane will remain visible at all times so I can still navigate around. The user interface now is, is fully dynamically resizable. 